hello there good people it's johnny j here and welcome to another episode of the 3c show and as always i am super pumped to be here although i'm a little bit tired today the eyes are hanging out of my head it's been one hell of a week but um that's okay we're here i'm here with my good mate shano i'll bring him in now how are you my man welcome i'm good yeah I'm good. good to have you here man yep anytime yeah jane's here Hey Jane, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jane, hello. <laughs> You're out there, say good day. We've got Nolene here. Nolene. Add rumors. I hope we pick up the sound to add to our workflow. Oh, okay, yep. So today on the show, we're going to be talking about Photoshop. Actually, Shane's going to take us through a little edit. And um, Shane, before we get started, because I know mm -hmm. you and me, we sort of started photography at the same time, but we both went sort of left. I went left, you went right, particularly when it comes to post-processing. And there's no real reason for it, um, except the main reason I think I went down the Lightroom route and I started there, okay, is because for my job for National Parks, so I'd go in a photo shoot and obviously take loads and loads of photographs. So for me, that starting place of needing to process loads of photographs and organize loads of photographs and and um, being able to sync settings is is just that the, was the natural sort of starting place for me. But you started with Photoshop, mate, didn't you? I did. I did. I just, I'm self-taught at Photoshop. And yep. um, yeah, I just never used Lightroom, really. Yeah. Um, I've just always used Bridge and Photoshop. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. And it's probably got a lot to do with the fact you haven't had to process so many photos as well. You know, just shooting landscapes most of the time, you're only coming home with a handful of images. So like, you know, I can go out in a photo shoot for work and come back with 500 photographs for the day, you know, which is just ridiculous and have to go through and process those really, really fast and turn them around often that night. So I think that's where the difference comes in. You know, you've been able to take your time and slow down and, and get into the nitty gritty of Photoshop. What are the main and reasons you, you, what are the main reasons you enjoy using it, mate? What, what is the what is the things that uh just the power of it i suppose yeah um yeah, yeah especially if you you really need to do something to fix something um mm. it's it's mm. got the power to do it yeah um, for sure for sure i mean I, when i say um i don't use photoshop i definitely use it and i i use it for going in and manipulating pixels obviously lightroom doesn't do a really good job mm -hmm. of you know moving pixels around so removing things and bits and pieces like that so i really use it for that but i think um one thing one thing that's um uh amazing but you know what happens i get a train of thought then a comment pops in i'm like oh that's a good comment i need to bring that up and then i forget my train there of is thought. a good one yeah, yeah I <laughs> so i'm gonna yeah. bring that up by shane you want to answer that one mate so jane says where do you import and save your photos um so what's your work so for that i just um use um i use a mac so i just use uh it's image capture yep and i just point it to an external drive um and which is the folders in there are marked like raw whatever year they're from yes um and then um i just get bridge i always point bridge at, at that hard drive virtually yeah, that um, makes sense and just grab and just grab them from there yeah so you're using a built-in piece of software image capture on like you use on a mac and that that yeah. pulls them off your card into a folder structure yep. and then yep. you're just using adobe bridge to browse that folder structure yeah no that that's yeah, totally exactly. fine I, I was, yeah. yeah, that that would work seamlessly. Yeah, it's like yeah, it everything. Works easy, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it, mate. And it's like everything. You know, you, you know, it's what you're used to. Like, and there's always the 500 ways to you know to mm -hmm. accomplish the same thing. Um, yeah. yeah, that's great, mate. Mm. Yeah. All easy, right. Easy. Yep. Oh, that's good, mate. All right. What we might do is let's jump over to your desktop and we're going to go through a virtual tunnel here. <laughs> and you want to get started, mate? I, I believe we're going to do a bit of a sky replacement today. Is that right? We are. We're just going to use um, Photoshop's new sky replacement tool, which works pretty seamlessly. It's yeah, a really yeah. easy, easy thing to use. I'm just going to... Um, bring up Bridge. Yeah, I'm just going to bring up Bridge. I'll, uh, where are we? Bridge is up. And this photo taken at the Gold Coast. Here, yeah, last year. Uh -huh. uh, it's just the sunrise to, and the sky is really, really faint. And um, I'm just going to add some night sky to this. Into the top. To yep. yeah, into the top to bring it from like a like a day to night or night to day shot. Awesome. And yeah, looks pretty. It's pretty straightforward, really. Yeah, that's a nice composition, man. You got nice leading lines. That the the turns of the 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 higher palm and the right hand palm creating a nice 
Don't, don't all there. Yeah, there's a yeah. big hello from my, I think that might be your cousin there, mate. Is it? Oh, uh, no, not your cousin. Is it, your um, is it niece, is my it? My niece? Is it yeah, is Nevaeh? Yeah. Nevaeh, yeah. Hey, Nevaeh, <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> and Nolene says she knows that spot, so there you go. Ah, very good. <laughs> yeah. I had to ask where it was actually. So, oh, did you? Yeah, someone, some, someone pointed me to it, which was good. So yeah, they're pretty nice. Yeah, pretty Glenn, nice, aren't you? I have to, hey, Glenn I, Anderson, I have to thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I got a question for you. Did you, did you shoot this a little underexposed and silhouetted trees, knowing that you're going to drop a sky in in post? Uh, was it? Yeah, was it? kind of. It is silhouetted on purpose. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. It was done specially because the sky's just so bland you see the cloud in the horizon down here yes and there was nothing going on up here so i thought i'll just yeah it's just a simple just to add a bit of interest to the photo i suppose awesome awesome and if you've got any questions along the way guys feel free to pull us up and pop in so awesome all right mate let's let's do it so what i would do is uh, it's up here in uh where are we now it's in it's in bridge so i'll just double click on it which will open it in Photoshop. It should come up in a minute. So it'll open camera like raw this. first, well, right? Opening camera raw yep. and this photo because I'm I'm uh, just doing the basic sky replacement. I wouldn't even adjust anything really. I yep. just leave it the Nothing way you it is. do. Just leave it as it is and mm, tweak it later. Yep. Leave it and, and I just open it. Open it from there. Yeah. Yep. Open your Photoshop. It's cool, man. Camera raw. I haven't seen that application for a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool now. That's, you can you can open that as a layer. Actually, hey. mm. I can if I want to. If yeah, I, I can select five yeah. or six if I want. Uh, mm. But um, yeah, it's open like this. I'll just. Um, so that uh, sky replacement, that's pretty new to Photoshop too, is it? Because it came into Lightroom, I think, the last big lot of updates, I think. Or was it yeah, the one before? Pretty new. It works. Yeah. It works. But you can, I don't know if people know, but you can, once it does its thing, you can go inside that itself and edit the mask. I don't know oh, whether people good. know that. Yeah, um, we'd love but, to see um, that, mate. Yeah, so I'm just going to duplicate this image so I don't destroy it. So Command J, or I don't know what it is for a for a Windows. But, it might um, be um, is it is it uh, Control J? Is it on Windows? Control J, it might be for yeah. a, for a Windows. I Sorry, think. Windows people. Yeah, where are <laughs> yeah, <we're>, no good. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just duplicate it. So then you just go up to um, Edit um, and Sky me Replacement me down here. Uh, it will pop up and I have a sky already set here like a Milky Way type sky it'll just pop it in in a second it'll do it'll do a pretty good job straight off the bat really can you move um, that um, panel from behind you there mate just so we can see what you're doing I've got your little picture in picture uh, in the top right just move it. yeah one? that's it mate. Oh. that's perfect so what have you what that did better? you do there mate you opened it up did you I just opened the sky replacement I have this file already in there so oh, in okay. a second, I'll show you. I'll show you what to do. You, Photoshop um, has a couple that come with it. Yeah, but you can add your own. You can add oh, okay. your own. Yeah, it'd be um, good to show us how you've added it, mate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there, it's put it in. As oh, you can please, see, it's done a pretty, it's like magic. It's done a pretty good job. Mm, mm. Um, so. So whereabouts uh, is Sky Replacement in Photoshop? Can you just show us where that would go? I missed is, that. Uh, up to up to edit. Yeah. So if you hit edit, my big head it comes is... down. It's under the auto blend layers. Yeah, I'm gonna go down. Just a new thing. I'm just gonna try a different scene. If this stuff's up, I apologize. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think I can turn us off. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do, Shana? I'm gonna get yeah. rid of us so we can see Photoshop better because no one wants to see our heads while we're talking. <laughs> there fine. we go. Good. Now you got the whole screen, mate. It's all yours. Yeah. Right. Beautiful. So, and then, um, and then, what do you do when you want to put? You, show us the where you're so, Yeah. So what you can do in here, you can mm. shift the edge around. So more of this um, foreground up if you want. So you just move this around. You can adjust the, the temperatures. I can make it like warmer or cooler. Yep. Um, you can do heaps of stuff. So you can do like a sort of a pre-edit um, yep. in here. You can flip it. You can scale it, which make it bigger or smaller. Or that makes the sky whatever. bigger or smaller. It does. Yeah. And then... You've got the foreground element, so you can do a, a lighting adjustment, so I can brighten up the foreground more or, or darken it more. Yeah, nice. Um, so it's sort of split yeah, them so off. You onto, yeah, you can. You can, you can, you can do stuff in here first before you even yeah yeah before you even do anything. Yeah, right. So 
Um, and how how and do you then, add your own skies? Can you do that here, mate? Can you do that now, or is that? No, uh, you what? go to this panel here. So mm -hmm. can you see where my yep. my pointer is? Can mate? Yeah. Click on that, and then down here it's got a plus icon. Ah, uh, and you drop your sky. You just, you just yeah. hit that, and then point it in to where you want to. Yeah. yeah. So see, so, so I've Makes got sense. trails. I've got other skies here that's been uh, brought in. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. So it's, it's not just their ones. You can bring in your own. Yeah, um, that's guys a, if you've got them. It's a good tip when you're out there, you know, shoot some skies. If you see a good sky, don't, don't yeah, well, pass it by. Yeah, going off. <laughs> Take a photo. Um, yeah, last <laughs> yeah. thing I do is do a 360 shot of the sky. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just for sky files. So, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, always comes in handy. That's great, man. So then I'll just hit OK yep. on that. So it'll bring it in. So you can see it here. It's come in with its own layers here. Mm -hmm. So I'll just... Minimize that so it's in its own. Yeah, little, it's in its own folder uh, there. Yeah. And fold up. It's all right. So now, see how down the bottom here there's still a heap of cloud and it hasn't blended very well. Blended yep. properly. I can, mate. Yeah. Yeah. So on this actual sky replacement, you can add a mask to it. Oh. So if you go down to here, um, there's a like a, the mask icon. Yep. Just add a it's... mask. Oh, hang on a second. That's on the wrong right one. Yeah, you got to select the select the group. So you, that and this is where Photoshop becomes yep. really powerful. I mean, not only can you put a mask on a layer and do stuff, you can put a lot mask on yep. a group of layers, which on is a whole group of layers. Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's just awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll mask it. Mm -hmm. So over to your brush tool, I need to change it to the black. Yeah, so black, 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 uh, black, black reveals, on a white, mask. white yep. conceals. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's, I always yep. forget that. So anyway, is that? How do I remember? Yeah. 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 So then I just go to the gradient. Yeah. Yeah. Over here, and I've got it set to ninety. I can't see. Ninety six. Ninety six percent. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll just drag from here up like this way. Yeah. Right. To get a better, better blend up into the sky. It's pretty simple, really. Yeah. Right. So basically, what we're saying like is, what we're saying is, we're doing like a light to dark sky uh blend yeah, so it's virtually, yeah virtually yeah mm, that's cool man so, and then obviously you then, can fiddle around with you know go go back if you've um, done that transition too much on that mask yeah, well, i can i can mm -hmm. i can open this up mm -hmm. again here and this um where are we i can adjust i can put things on back inside this folder as well if i feel like it yeah yeah so um I can just add these ones down here, which are all your um, yeah your adjustment layers. Yep. Yep. So I get a color balance uh -huh. like that, and we'll put it in. Yep. Now just here, you, you you need to clip to that light that uh, sky yep. layer. Yeah, that's right. So I explained. So that so that button there, you can see where the arrow is. Okay, just point to the little yep. arrow that points down underneath, and I explain what this that's here, doing. Which yeah, which means it's going to only only affect the layer below it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yep. that's good. Yeah. All right. So then I would um, just up here, I can you'll see the color change a little bit. I'm just putting more magenta into the to the sky. sky to get the blend yep. a lot more better. Yeah, so it looks a lot more natural. Yeah. A lot more natural from fade from from here to here. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's all I do. I just um, group group that back up, uh -huh. and then uh, now if I uh, so to put these, if to put those all those adjustments together on a separate layer, it is uh, shift. Command Option E or yep. Shift Command. Before you do that, show the before and yep. after, mate. Turn the turn uh, sure. the eyes off and of the, the and the little eye off. Yeah, so that's plain. Before and after, sweet. Yeah. Also, yeah, I can grab this. I should be able to. Uh -huh. do, uh, let me have a look here. I don't know if I can. No, I can't because I should have done it earlier. But um, when you do the first sky replacement mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. You can grab this sky and move it around to where you want it to be. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Before you click OK. Yeah, right. Like so that, so when it. you're in the sky replay, yeah. just we'll just go back and show us that. Yeah. Right? Go back and do it. So just delete that. Well, don't delete it. Just um, turn that layer off and do the sky replacement uh, again because that didn't take too long. No. So if I just go to here, yeah, you can go to 
uh, here. And now our, our mugs are off the screen. We can actually see where it is in the menu. <laughs> I need to select it. So, yes, yeah, so you go to edit. Yep. Down to spot placement. Uh-huh. Like that. And it'll come in, obviously, on this yep. one in a minute. And the output to new layers. I'll I see that there. That's a default, eh? That's default. That is a default. Yeah. Yeah, yeah which is good. It's um, awesome, man. And that's the thing, like Lightroom has got that sky replacement, but there's no way that you can add that gradient at the bottom. It'd be pretty tough. I don't actually could you do it with a graduated? Uh, I don't think you could actually do it. You couldn't do it because you couldn't. Yeah. yeah no, so no. I could probably you scale couldn't. this. Uh, so you can't replace the sky. So I'll bring it down a little bit. Oh yeah, so, I see. So doing. I can just I can I just scaled it smaller and I can grab this and I can just move it around. See. Oh yeah, where you want it, like this before yeah, I press yeah, OK. Right. So you so, so you could it, scale like, it. Yeah, like sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I want it about here, so. Mm -hmm. And then I'll hit OK. And then the gradient I put in. That's right. Blow up better. It doesn't matter because the gradient's going to yeah. fade that bottom part of the, the blend anyway. The mask I put on it, yeah. It's yeah. Kind of blend thing, yeah. That makes yeah. total sense, man. Yeah, I get it. That's yeah. cool, man. I just wanted to show you, you could actually move it around to where you want it. If you kind of have a pre, pre um, thought on how the photo is going to look, you can kind of put the sky where you want because you know it's just going to fit yeah. when you do the other edits later. Um, yeah, exactly. I thought it was really interesting so that you underexposed it on purpose in the field knowing that's what you were going to do. So, And that, and that's it's something, you know, you may not have, you probably still could have got away with it, hey? Like you would have had to underexpose the foreground to make it silhouetted if you had exposed it properly, I suppose. It was pretty, pretty bright. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I would group uh, these two together now. Mm -hmm. I'd go Shift Command Option E, which I think that's not going to. Let me have a look. Yeah, I think you got to select all. Yeah. There, you go. yeah. there we go. Oh so yeah. Oh, that's your final one. I get together. it. Yep. Yep. And what's next? Yep. And then I then I go up to I open Camera Raw. So I go to Filter, Camera Raw. This is like a, again. this is like a ninja trip being able to go back to the raw editor after you've been to Photoshop. <laughs> so open I it do. up. I sometimes go back about ten times. Yeah, um, right. Mm. Yeah, so depends on what I want to do. Um, mm -hmm. so, so what's this next? One, I, I would go down and I would add effects and I'd just um, dim the edit a bit. I think just to add a bit of yeah, uh, give it a bit of depth. Like this. Yeah, yeah, just focus on this center part really uh -huh. and then um yeah there's a heap of things i could do really um what would could, you do but what do you when you're looking at it what uh, do you think it needs uh, i think it looks okay the way it is okay. but um yeah. yeah i just um yeah probably i use a, a radial gradient i'd say and come in about here pull it in here you can see where it where it is somewhere Mm -hmm. in here and i'll probably just dull it down just a fraction i think i'll just oh, you think it's a bit bright so i can see what i'm doing yeah and i'll just pull the, pull the highlights down yeah yeah just pull the highlights or not too far but yeah i get yeah, it just so it gets a better better blend so of. it's not so yeah bright down there yeah it's crazy man yeah, you basically a turned a sunrise in. shot into like a, a half and half it's like like uh, a blue uh, hour. Yeah, which kind of adds a bit more interest to the to the sky. Definitely yeah. does, mate. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'll just come back down That's here, good, and yeah, then you could then you can go up to while well, you're in raw, you can just go back up to your uh, basic, mm -hmm. and yeah, you can adjust it. You want to play around with the global temperature? Or, yeah, yeah, just just do some global adjustments if you really want to. Mm. I think the more blue, a bit better because yeah. the foreground. And a bit more bluer yeah yeah and what's so cool is like now you've opened up you know, even though you've opened that up into photoshop and then you've gone back to camera raw you're actually are you still working on the raw file there too aren't you uh isn't yeah, it working I'm on this still on a raw file yeah. that's right yeah so yeah. you've still got the yeah. the power it's not like you've um and that and that is a problem when when you're in lightroom so you go to go to photoshop and come back you're either on a psd or you're on a tiff you're no longer doing your processing on the raw file 
after you've done your work in yeah. Photoshop. So, I mean, that is, yeah, yeah that's just awesome. So if I hit OK, it's going to come back in mm-hmm. like this. So, yeah, uh, there's our vignette and that put on it. Yeah, let's, um, I'll show you what, it, see if I can do a before and after. See? Yeah, it's great, man. Like that. And then awesome. um, I cool. would just uh, come up to here, go filter noise, and I'd reduce the noise in the sky a little bit. Oh, yeah? Which the, the, yeah, the default settings are fine. Uh, I'm on the wrong way. Yeah. Was it because that um, you hadn't reduced the noise of that um, that sky layer before you put it in? Is that right? Or Yeah, because I don't really like to do that. To do it after, I do it after, yeah. Once it's, once it's well, fully done. Well, um, then you're reducing noise on the whole blend too, but as well, you're not just doing. I am. Yeah, on the thing yeah. before, yeah. So that does make sense. Yeah. So if those shadows, so were I'd leave bit... it as default. Yeah. I just hit okay. I get that. Sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make I'll sense. Do it pretty quick, yeah. and then I would do a uh, unsharp mask after that, just to sharpen it. Yeah, right. Eh? Well, what are your ninja settings yeah. for unsharp mask? Uh, one twenty. I. I'll, I'll show you in a second. And, I'll let it come in. And you use that over Smart Sharpen? You like Unsharp uh, Mask better? Yeah, I like Unsharp Mask better. Yeah. So I'll just go enough. Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. Yeah. That, and there it is. So, uh, so 120, nice. 120, two, right into two. Yep. Yep. Anywhere from 100. Yeah, I wouldn't go anywhere past 120, though. Yeah, yeah, start bringing all that noise back. I, I just adjust between 100 and 120. 100 and 120, yeah, depending the, on how much like, detail. Yeah, so the, yep. these branches are nice and sharp now. Yeah, um, they are. Just yeah. hit OK. Yeah. And Ninja settings. Be about it, so. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's awesome, bro. So, yeah, so that just added, yeah, simple. I'll take that up there if I can. Uh, where did yeah. that go? Mm, yeah, just put into the layer. You just cannot do that in Lightroom. There that's it is. The power of it. Yeah, that's awesome, man. There we go. That's better. So you, you use a lot of loom. So I'll off and on now. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I can. I can open one off. Let me duplicate the one I just did. So mm. just here, I use um, Aaron Dowling's ones. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, so it's th- Aaron Dowling. Pro version yeah. three. So, so anyone who hasn't seen these, you're basically looking at buttons that create a whole lot of actions that do different things. That's what it is. Um, Correct. Yeah. yeah. And everything's in here too. So all your mm. adjustments yeah. are in here. So you, yeah, you can do it all in the one. One panel. Yeah. One thing. So just say I want to select uh, this bright here. Yep. Um, I just go to the light and mm. I've pre-done it earlier. So I know it's going to be a light three. I and think. you get you get to roughly light know. So basically, when we're saying, yeah, well, there you go. That's a perfect example. I'll just explain it. So luminosity oh, masks are just I'll making selections yeah, based on a better. luminosity value, and that's what those numbers are. So lights one, two, three, four, five, and then the midtones. And you can see what you're seeing okay, there. Yep. Yeah, you can see what you're seeing there. That adjustment chains clicked. Yeah. Um, so the, everything's everything in grey and black here is mm-hmm. going to be masked. So all this white stuff will be mm-hmm. the selection. Yes, that's right. So, so the white is where it's going um, to be mostly affected. So the whiter it is, it's going to have, have most of the majority of the selection. And then the grayer it goes, the less of the majority of the selection. And then black doesn't have any of the selection. That Well, whatever you're going to do, which you've right. got a levels adjustment at the moment. So yeah, yeah, so I can either... So now in the one thing, I can load it as a selection, mm-hmm. if I like. Yep. Or I can just come and adjust it here, which will load it with a mask on. Yep. Just here anyway. So yeah, just pick one, whatever you think levels, it is. Mate. Curves, exposure. So all these here do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I can just load it as a selection, which mm-hmm. I've done, which will come in in a second. You'll see the marching ants. See, so it's selected the brightest value there. Yeah. But even though there's marching ants are there, you you see the adjustments still affected outside of those because where it goes gray, that the, 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 it's super feathered, the adjustment you're about to make. So it's really, really nice. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So then I can come down to mm. uh, these adjustments here, which load in with a mask and yep. hit levels or curves. Yep. And it should come in. There it is. There, there it is. So, so now when I adjust this, mm. you'll see it's adjusting the lights. I don't know whether you can yeah. see that on the screen. Yeah, we can, mate. Yeah, it's adjust, exactly. It's only adjusting that part of the photo. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very powerful. Yeah. 
Mm, that's the beauty of luminosity masks, not only for blending, but for doing these really intricate selections based on luminosity values to do whatever you want, change color, change tones, brightness, darkness, curves. Yeah, you can do everything. So. Mm, it's yeah, amazing, well, man. Can, yeah, I can bring that in as um, color even. Like I can change that whole color with a luminosity mask. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Uh, yeah. So, mm, yeah. yeah, it's pretty, um, they're pretty awesome things to, pretty awesome things to use. Yeah. They're hard to get your head around though. They are. They take a bit um, of time. Yeah. So yeah, they take a bit of time to learn how to use. Yeah. So that panel you're using, what was it called again, mate? It's the Aaron Dowling, uh, Aaron Dowling. Okay. panel. I think that one is. There's a few. Oh, they're all pretty much the same. I think there's a... Yeah. Um, what, there's, I, what I found with... The... There's three really good ones, I think. Um, one's, one's this one and there's two other, yeah. two other good ones. Tony... Corper or Kuiper, I think. Is yeah. Another good one. Yeah. He's, yeah. Um, yeah. Just so bring his, up. Is, his is really good too. You there, Johnny? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Nolan was going to say, yeah, so gonna say the same thing. <laughs> PS is huge. Yeah, it is. It's a beast of a program. You can even cut video in Photoshop, which just blows me away. <laughs> I don't know why oh, you may yeah. even want to do that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah I totally agree. Nolan, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm yeah, just looking at it a, here. The AP sort of basic, basic mm. edit, really. Yeah, that's great, man. That's um, really good. Using using the sky replacement tool anyway. Mm. Just show that some of those luminosity masks and do some dark selections there, mate, on those trees and things. Just just so people can uh, see what they do while we're talking. But um, so I'll go dark. So I'll, I'll select dark one. Mm -hmm. I'll see what happens. There yep. we go. So it's pretty uh, much got okay, all that dark. other thing there. Two. You can just yep. keep going through. Until you select the selection, I'll go dark spore. Yeah, you can see it's only and selecting then, the trees and that's the right. foreground here. That's right. So everything is so white as a selection. That, that's and then, the selection. And then when you load that into a mask, you can also adjust that mask and fix there up those go. edges too. So, I show you. So people say, see the March Nance now. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. You can really man. see how much it's mm. it's selected. So, that's right. And then I can brighten them or yeah, do whatever. Some really. Something I have found there playing around with these different panels, they they all offer a similar sort of thing, but then they tack on all these other little uh, things you can do, you know, like sharpening and output. And look at this one you've got, it's got dodge and burn. And But you'd hardly ever use any of those things, do you? Do you use those much? I only use it for the... You can, but I only use it for... Um, the mask. Just creating the selection. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's the main thing they all do, all those different panels. So, yeah. yeah but it's pretty powerful yeah mm. pretty powerful thing it is particularly yeah. you know when you're starting to get these really defined adjustments yeah to get your head around yeah, it blows me away a good job and then it's just uh mm. to deselect that it's just command or control d and yep it's, yeah it's awesome Done. man give us that before and after before we uh bump on out of here if you've got any questions guys fire them up now's the time but um i think that was that was awesome man just bit of an intro into you know what you can do with a sky replacement and change a photo into something totally different and yeah, I always pretty... say, you know, when, when you're doing things like this, a lot of people are realists and they want to capture what they see or whatever. But, the, you know, in the end, photography is an art form. And if, if this is what your art is, then I, I totally give it's a thumbs up to, to me, man. Go your hardest. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah. If I was spending more time, I'd probably put more of a glow on the horizon and do a few other things. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. It involves a million masks and layers. Which we, which we yeah. might get to in another episode. Yeah, we sure will, man. I just wanted to get get started yeah. and open Photoshop, and yeah, I learned a few yeah. things too about the sky replacement tool. So that's that's good. Man. Yeah, well, the good thing I, I wanted to show you is you can add, you can adjust the stuff that's inside here. Yeah, and I can see that. Well, so it's added a added added a, a, a layer for I the temperature a color, and a color balance, color balance and yeah. then yeah, and, and the then mask. you can put a mask on it. Yeah, that's as right. Well. It's great because. because it's, because it's a group, it's really yeah, you can just mask mm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's pretty um awesome, bud. Pretty easy. Yeah, well, all good. I don't think I don't think we had any more comments come in. So yeah, that was good, mate. That was awesome, bud. It was a good little intro to get us going with Photoshop. But um, hey guys, if you're looking to see more of Shano's photography, by the way, is at shanerussellphotography.com and it's at Shane Russell Photography on the socials out there, Facebook, Instagram. So. Mate, that's awesome. Thanks again, Shana. Well, it's, um, that's all right. Photoshop, yeah. it's, like, it's like this, you know, <laughs> it's funny with Photoshop. I, I've sort of like, I know the things I know how to do and I'll do the things I do in Photoshop and I hardly ever explore out of it because I don't have a need to. 
But um, yeah, I think like I was telling you a pre-show. Yeah, it's got a million tools to yeah. do the same thing. Yeah, that's right. There's a hundred like, ways um, to achieve everything. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? You just you find the best tool that you like for your workflow. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Yeah, no, because totally there's agree. more than one way to do the same. There is there's more than one tool to do the same job. Yeah, exactly. Um, and Nolan, yeah. Nolan yeah. just said, "We'll have to watch it at the end to really get it into our into our brain." <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. For sure. And Serena said, "Thanks, Shawnee and Jay. That was, that was awesome. But yeah, thanks for stopping by, yeah. Serena." Great to yeah, have so, you um, here. Yeah, I was great, mate. That might have been a little bit hard. No, nah. so my Photoshop and that that was kind of easy, but um, I should have maybe. <laughs> yeah. No, no, maybe mate. It, and that's what I said. Simple, maybe. <laughs> or, here we go. Like, maybe, maybe we just do a show on layers and masks. Jane was saying I need to fully understand layers and masks. Yeah, maybe we can just do a, just talk about that. We can for do a, a, a we can do a quick mm. tip on that next week if you want. That's yeah, pretty, should man. Yeah, for sure. We'll definitely do it because mm. I think we can unpack it and we can also set up some Photoshop layers, um, some Photoshop uh, layers that sort of give you a better illustration how it works with some color colors and stuff like that. You know, when you mask through and you can see the color underneath and just to get a bit of an idea how that works. So, Yeah, yeah. and you can use, um, mm. it's amazing because with masks and stuff, you can like paint a, um, uh, if you want to change, if it's not quite as, uh, orange or yellow as you want you can put a whole yellow gradient mm. underneath that and then blend in with the opacity yeah slider do, or do, with yeah just, so we can, we can get really technical if we want to yeah yeah well mate we need to keep it easy otherwise you're going to lose me mate so not too technical <laughs> <Shana. laughs> yeah, good. awesome good. Yeah. well mate what we do what we might point out too johnny is we mm. might do a um what's very powerful and simple Mm-hmm. Is we might do a uh, a thing on the um, let me bring up Photoshop again on the. <laughs> I'm glad um, you know what you're talking about because I have no idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, what are they called? They're just the. Um, oh, I can't think of what they're called. Oh, I'll think all, about an old. Yeah, about it's all good, week. mate. But yeah, um, you probably got a thousand ideas. You know, you know my tippy show. Now you're starting to do a few tutorials and jump on the show. Every time you think of something, just make it a little note in the note thing. Oh, yeah, I could teach that. I yeah. could show people that. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I, yeah I awesome, think man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, mate. No thanks worries. again. Appreciate it, as always. Not yeah. going to be a long no one tonight, worries. but that, that was great, mate. It was really good. I, yeah. I enjoyed that. Yeah, short and, and sweet. Yeah, mate, that was perfect. Now, I've got, I've got to see if my um, intro works, man, or my outro. So <laughs> outro. I've got, a, oh, got all my oh, button oh. set up. <laughs> so. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. That was really good. I think my lower third is going to come up again, and we're going to have the music. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that one. Please send some feedback. And if you're enjoying these live streams, which I am, it's been great catching up with Shano, the good old mates, and having you guys come in and comment. Um, I'd really love some feedback. And also, share these share these shows. Give them a like. Give them a thumbs up wherever you're watching it. Share it around the web. And that's really how we can get the word out about what we're doing here and help a lot of photographers with their photography, which is what this is all about thanks again Shana I'll see you in the next week no mate. Worries, mate. all Take right brother. We're yeah. out. see you Bye. later I've got to make sure my outro works let's see is it gonna work no my outro epic fail on the outro Shana <laughs> that's okay all right let's go